set me to slip. Oh, heck no, I'm paying you cash. You can do whatever you want. 20 bucks. I like 20 bucks. 25? Yeah, there's nothing out in the here in ours, but it, it's across the street. Anyway, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25. Yeah, just check it. Make sure you got the right breaker. Unless you got marked in there. I, I'm sure I can find it. Oh. I don't have the air on or nothing in there. Oh. But I have everything closed up, so. Yeah. It stays pretty cool in there when nobody's in there puffing and puffing and stuff. So. Here, here it does, but the doors would open. And I got air conditioner right there. It's not hooked up. I mean, it's hooked up, but we got to put in power for it. And then you got to run some special wire for it. And um, my buddy works with walkers. Oh, yeah. So he's kind of. He does it on the side when he just got no customers. Yeah, he's been busy with life, you know. And we, the outlet that I was going to use, there used to be a dryer in this place, a health club. Years yeah. Ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, there's, so there's a 220 breaker downstairs. They pulled the wires out. There's no wires in there. So we did all this work, Chris, because we were able to plug the, 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 the uh, electrical into <coughs> I said, well, we'll just run a wire down to the basement. There's a box down there. Why do we get here? He's going to work one day. <laughs> I'm like, why don't we just run a whole new wire from the breaker box, we'll run it, and then we'll put it upstairs so it's closer. Right. I said it would probably be easier. Try to figure out where the wires are or whatever. Good luck with that. Yeah. This, yeah. this building's done. It's probably, yeah, it's been screwed with. You know, the electric, whoever's, I mean, half them, half them all. But, or, there's no breakers in half the box. Some of that stuff. If you had a little <laughs> screw and break. No. No, they reflect ones. But like that, there used to be that pole out here, and on that Steve tried true guy, he did redid the building outside the tuck lighting and all that. And he goes, that hot? And I said, no, it shouldn't be. And I got a little thing. He goes, beep, 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 beep. I'm like, huh? I'm like, what break is that? I don't think we ever figured it out. So you must not have a break for that? Huh. I got somebody looking at my building today. To sell it? Yeah. Oh. How I'm much? not going to rent it. How much? I don't even know. They just want to come and look at it and see if it's going to work for them. Oh. Well, you know, Carla Schultz. Schulte? Yeah. Jeremy Schultz? He lived. Yeah, I kind of. Is he a short, stocky guy with a beard? She was really, really big. She lost a lot of weight. Uh, Carla Knudsen. She used to be a Carla Knudsen. Okay. They live just outside town. <coughs> hey. Anyhow, I gotta go see. She's supposed to be over there at five o'clock. So I was kind of curious. He was on. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, your building's a lot bigger, obviously. Probably a better shape. Than this place, but like nice occasions, I, I'm gonna ask Steve Hank if, you know, how much they sell. I don't know what stuff's worth, especially commercial in this town. I don't know either. I paid thirty-five thousand for this building, but that's fifteen. Years. That was before it's anything big, though. I paid fifty-five. Fifty-five. How many years? Ago? Twenty. So we're probably comparable to price when you bought yours. When I bought this, I overpaid, but um, she had. A, I thought I overpaid too. She over. She she had a tax lien on her. So we bid it, and long story short, I bid it for like twenty five thousand. And Jack Hines started bidding it, which he said he was going up. And so he bid it a couple times, and I bid it back. Finally, I'm like, I'm not going to play this game because I was looking at another building in Baldwin, uh, comparable. And uh, <coughs> I said, I don't need it that bad. It was just something. So I walked out. My car was parked. My trunk was parked across the street. Jack chased me down. Come on back. So, he stop, no, no, then he stopped bidding, didn't he? I said, I'm not going to bid against you guys. You got more money. Yeah. And it was his auction? It was his auction. And he's bidding on. No, yeah, they didn't use it for their own building, probably. Probably the store. Because that was when they were open. Yeah. So they didn't move well, to once you have somebody else bid on it, you have someone that said, uh, it looks bad that well, he, he's, he's like bidding you up. He said that. Because he he it was all taped. And he said it at the end. He goes, we're going to reserve the right to bid on it because we have a building across the street. 
we use it for storage. So I locked out and then uh, chased me down. I said, I'll give you 30000 and that's it. Well, then this lot, this was a mess. She had a bed for me. So they came in here and I'm um, like waiting and she yelling and you could hear it, you know. And he comes out and goes, We got a problem. I'm like, What's the problem? I said, I got the high bed. You know? He goes, Well, we reserve right not to sell to anybody. I said, I understand that. But, you know, you want to get rid of it or not? <clears throat> He goes, she's got a tax. We can't sell it for less than $30. Like, That's it. I said, I'm not paying closing costs. I'm not paying anything. I said, I'm going to go to the bank, get $35,000, give you a check. He goes, that's fair enough. So then, 20 days, but I already had my financing. <clears throat> and so, uh, they called me, Percy Gunners called me, she can't close. She's, there's something going on. And so, 30 days later, a person calls me and goes, yeah, lawyer's off. Lawyer's off. So I get there, like, it was a Saturday morning, Friday morning, so. 9 o'clock, got a couple minutes early, had my coffee, had my check, you know. And <clears throat> in the meantime, I went to Menards about and locked. And so we get there, she's late, with her boyfriend. And two other people were... Heinz Jack charged like three thousand dollars for advertising, which is crazy. And uh, she got a check for six thousand that day, and she was mad. And she called Jack. She got hold of him. And so she was in the lawyer's office. So then they gave her a check for six, and she got up. She was just a little gal too. She got up over the couch because you were only twenty-five thousand, and this big woman at the lawyer's office. Because you sit back down, I'm not that fine with going on. And she goes, You owe the state of Wisconsin something, 9000 So what they do is they keep that plus 50% of the kids, they find something else. They, they will send you your money if they after have, you're paid up. After you're paid up. He goes, Legally, I can't do it. So she got a check for 6000 or whatever. And I said, Okay, you know, where's the keys? Well, she didn't have a building thing out either. She was supposed to. And the doors the keys. Goes, we don't have any keys. You don't have keys? No, we never left. <laughs> so I had all my stuff in the truck. So <clears throat> I get back down and she went to her falls. Um, and I started doing stuff in here. And she, was, she wanted to clean some stuff all And I said, so I'll be there all day. So I started organizing and cleaning and doing her stuff. Uh, so I still, I had a job, right? A job. And before I left, I changed a lot of but I had no shades or nothing. I had a step ladder in front of the window. She called me. I was at work. I was doing whatever. I was at work. She goes, I think I left my step ladder in the building. She went to pencil her. I said, no. Oh, God. And she, goes, she, she, goes, I, she goes, I can't get in there. The door's locked. I said, I know. Yeah, that's what more normal people do. Yeah, so then I only worked four 10-hour days. And so... We'd putz around in here and at night and Frank's there or something. And I brought some, my toolbox down there. But I wasn't going to start a business in there. This is going to be my own garage. But I had no intention of starting a small job. Well, now, now, now you have two. Mm-hmm. What happened was, and I'll keep here all day, but me and my ne- the, the trees up there were so overgrown and were coming all the park. Huh? So my nephew was like, let's get that shit out of there. So we caught two weekends of stuff. Oh, oh really? Yeah, it was bad. Overgrown. And my chainsaw, the, the chain didn't get sharp. And I go, I should sharpen that chain before the next weekend. My ass, another beer. So I kept doing that. I'll sharpen the chain. No, I don't know. And I went home, my wife was sleeping. It was like 9 o'clock. I said, hey, so what are you on? And I started a small engine shop. She like, sits up in her chair, she's like, you have to be perfect. And, you know, and then you need us to say you did. So I started with If I had money, you know, so if I didn't make it, you know. Right. Then there's been some rough years. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, especially when you're trying to when you're first paint and clean and maintenance. And, you know, so you're putting all your money in there. Oh, when you first start, yeah, it takes a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. 
I better go. She'll be there yeah. any minute. What do they plan on doing in there? What? Who knows? Fine. It's a big time. Show us some deli thing or. Oh, there it is. Duh. Fuck me by it. Yeah, I don't know. Deli thing? Restaurant? Carla Penisa. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. That, all that stuff's hard to make. Anything is hard to make. If you're... The whole town is hard to make. You live in Spring Valley, though. Right? Martin. Oh, dear. Oh. You live by... Jeff Pachak. He lives in the, across from the park, or that old man used to have sheep there. Yeah, yeah. He lives right there. That, where the sheep was, that was his school. This guy got his lawn. Oh. Uh -huh. I, there's never any houses for sale in that town. When you're looking. Uh, the one next to me, I guess, it's, well, the flood tore out the basement, you know. Uh -huh. The wall caved in the front and back, and it's been sitting idle. I hear, I hear people are trying to buy it, uh -huh. to redo it. But definitely. My friend Brenda, uh, three kids, they live, you go through Martell all the way, like you're going to come back out to Jay. <clears throat> yeah. Right before the bridge at Brown House, it's suspected. They live back there. I've known them for years. They've never really had any grip away from the, I don't think they've ever Enough had away from the water. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to sell my place next year when I retire. Where are you moving to? I have a place up in Cumberland. Oh, do you? 48 or something. What house there? The last flood. My wife says, we got to find something else. Uh, so we bought a place up there. We only bought a house with five acres. It's all old trees around it. Mm -hmm. And then the guy that owned the 35 around me asked me if I wanted to buy it. Mm -hmm. So it's a no-brainer. I bought it. So uh, it's been logged off like eight or nine years ago. So that price is, My nephew's got my nephew, Lady Smith. He bought 60 and it was logged off. We paid twenty-seven thousand oh. sixty, but then there was a. It doesn't have the power. Just down the road, there's twenty that spin log, but it's got electricity to it, and we paid like forty for that. So. Yeah, well, it's very nice and quiet. Yeah. Bears going through the yard. Uh, two weekends ago, we were up. Sitting there at the kitchen table at seven o'clock in the morning. Here comes Mama Bear with three little cubs. Right. Went to the bird feeder. We had the bird feeder empty because we don't want the bears around because he just keeps They're out. bad this year. I see them on Facebook. There's a little group on there. And there's bears everywhere this year. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we have them. They're there. <laughs> a lot of deer, too. Yeah. The one camera, I'm going to get like 500 pictures in a, in a week. We check. You know, I have three cameras out. Yeah. This one camera, at least 500 pictures every yeah. week, all deer and bear. The, um, you know what that schoolhouse is? I want It's uh, Jerry Lynn's mom was there. His old schoolhouse. Well, Jay grew up there. He said there was a bear cave back in there. I don't think was for years. Uh -huh. And then a couple. A couple years ago, remember on, out on Highway 10, a bear got hit right. by the party bus? And then yeah. like a year later, it was the exact same spot, another bus or some, truck or something. Well, we live just on the other side of that ravine on Crest Lane. It's a dead end street. So up behind us, there's a cornfield or a field or whatever. And then meets that row, and yeah. And then our street comes down, and then that big ravine. If you went through that ravine, you'd pop right out on where that bear got killed. I wonder if that bear didn't come through our yard. <laughs> Probably. Probably. You never know. Yeah, you never know. They come and go so fast. Yeah. And we've had deer and stuff run through because they get, I don't know, spooked or whatever. So they'll come running straight to our yard and they'll hit. But then there's that great place that was right across the street from the ravine. Is. So he'll put on Greg's thing. But then there's that. Out. But then there's that field. Yeah. Yeah. Then there's that field. They're all over. They don't care. Right. Yeah, but then that's yeah. been sixteen deer up north. Really? Yeah, sixteen at one time. I had up. <coughs> Classic but. fortune and corn. <laughs> Not supposed to feed them, no. But they're by the bird feeders, so they just eat the bird seed. Yeah. And there's a lot of corn in the bird seed. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's not that. Oh, I just want to know that there's um. I wanted to tell you that there's no um with the with the um 
With the just AC, there's the only ones they have are the ones with the AP and the AC. I was that which was I didn't know if you wanted the one the heat too the Duke. That's all they had. They had they had like a window one. I'm like I didn't know if that was the one cheap with the there's like a window was there was like a little window model you know like the window ones. Yeah. I'm like the, like the little desk fan or something. Like that. No, I told her, I said that I said that I said that's the one he's originally looking at. That was five hundred, you know, the heat and stuff. Yeah. But he said he probably might not need it because it has the heat. But I said, if that's the only one they got, get that one then. That was fine, wasn't it? I just wanted to get that one. That was the one you're originally looking at. I told you, I said, that's the one you're originally looking at. This and that. Well, then she's like, you don't, know, are you sure you have enough money in your bank account? This and that part, you know? I'm like, like you should. I'm not gonna. I I figured you wouldn't say it. You wouldn't tell her why if you did, you know, right? You didn't have enough money. Oh, there. To buy that. Where? In a what store though? For what one? Medina 8000. What? Medina 8000. I don't know which that one is. Is that the one that. I don't know which one you're talking about. Like Medina 8000 doesn't tell me nothing. I guess it's like AC and E1. No. <laughs> No, it does not say that God stopped. We pick up today, that does not mean nothing. No. Oh, maybe. Well, see, th th there's none. She said there's none in stock. I said three hundred something. She's like, I'm like, yeah, it's about close to four hundred. And she's like, no, there's none in stock. I'm like, there's one that's like five something, like five eighteen or something, you know? Like close to like I don't know. She's trying to be technical. Huh? 
Like, I don't know the exact price. Like, I told her, there should be one that's around there that has editors. One. That was the one you were, I told her that, that's the one you are looking at, you know? You know? So I figured if I didn't tell her that, you know, she would buy it, you know, right? Right? You get so much as you are.
Thank <laughs> you. 